Hello, students. This is the uh, class I have, or rather, I am going to prepare to teach you how to do frequency distribution. Uh, many people are having confusion about it. So I thought, let's teach that how to calculate it. I just share the, share the screen and I'll tell you how to calculate the frequency distribution. Okay, now let's see. You may get the this kind of data. Okay, and uh, the question will be like uh, arrange this data in frequency distribution table. This kind of question may come in the exam. Not this uh, this question, but this kind of question. Hmm. We listen carefully what I'm saying. Not this question. These kind of questions may come in the exam if frequency distribution uh, related questions are there. So this kind of data we get, uh, different data, but this kind of data we have to arrange in a frequency distribution table. So what is the process that, first you have to see what is the, uh, the lowest number and what is the highest number in this given data. So you have to see the lowest number and the highest number. You see this lowest number, you can find the lowest number is maybe 30 and the highest number may be the 30, uh, 81. You just observe this, you'll find it. Uh, the lowest is 30 and the highest is 81. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to make the data, you have to arrange to make the frequency distribution. You have to arrange data in a group. So it is called class interval. The group which you are going to make, it is called class interval. See here. So class interval, we can uh, keep the distance of five digits or seven digits or 10 digits is up to you. Now here to teach you, I have kept distance for five digits. So I have done grouping of 30 to 34. 35 to 39, 40 to 44, 45 to 49. This way I went till 30, 84. So this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 group I have made as a class interval. It is called class interval. You can keep the distance of 10 digit also, like 30 to 39, 40 to 14, and that also you can do. There is no hard and fast. You can keep distance for 2, for 3, for 7, for 10. For five, it is up to you. So I have kept distance of five digits. Now, what is the task? Then you have to see 30 to 34 is class interval. Mein yahan se kitne number are hai. So 30 se leke 34 may ye 30 hai. Then uh, 30, you can search you have to search. Do shayad, shayad ek hi hai. To humne aise tally mark karna hai. To humne tally mark kiya one. Then 35 to 39, is range mein kitne number wahan pe given data mein hai? So there are total 7 numbers. So tally marks banate hai, aisa karna hai. 1, 2, 3, 4. And paachwa bhi aapko agar milega is range mein, is range mein jo number aayega, paachwa rahega to aap usko 5 ke liye cross karenge. Then again you are getting then 6 and 7, aisa. Similarly, 40 to 44 ka bhi yahan pe banayenge. 45 to 49 ka yahan pe banayenge, aisa entire aap banayenge. Thik hai? Haan. Then, this age of your tally, we will calculate it. So, this is 1 to 1, this is 7 to 7, this is 6 to 6, this is 5 to 5, this is 3 to 5, this is the number. Likha. And you have calculated this, if you add it, you have n45. Why should you add n45? Because the total number of items, total items are 45. Total values are 45. So, if you have a frequency, you have a right value 45, so it means your frequency distribution table is correct. Okay? So, that way you can make your frequency distribution table. Then comes question comes for uh, uh, make the frequency polygon, frequency histogram. You have a graph, banana hota hai, graph for polygon histogram on this frequency. So, you have to do this. You have to do x axis and y axis. Banana X axis पे हम सारे frequencies लिखेंगे, sorry class interval लिखेंगे, and Y axis पे सारे frequencies लिखेंगे, ठीक है? I'll show you the example of histogram, जिसे हम bar graph भी कहते हैं। तो देखो मैंने यहाँ X axis में सारे frequencies class interval लिखे। अभी frequency कितना है? Maximum number यहाँ पे कितना है? यहाँ पे maximum number nine है, उसके ऊपर नहीं है। तो हम क्या करेंगे इसमें? Frequency is y axis pe likhte work. We will write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Abhi hum dekhenge class interval 30 se leke 34 mein kitne frequency hai to 1 hai to yahan tak humne ek banaya. 35 se 39 mein kitne hai to bas 7. To 7 pe ja ke humne banaya. 
ऐसा हम हर फ्रीक्वेंसी में कितना फ्रीक्वेंसी यहाँ पे आए को देख के वैसे हम वहां पे मार्क करेंगे एंड देन विल जॉइन दिस ऑल ग्राफ ब्रांच दैट विल बी द हिस्टोग्राम ठीक है सिमिलरली पॉलीगॉन में क्या करना है वैसे ही करना है आपको एक्स एक्सिस एक्स एक्सिस पर सारे क्लास इंट्रो लिखने हैं वाई एक्सिस पर सारे के सारे आपको फ्रीक्वेंसी लिखने हैं एंड देन यू हैव टू जस्ट पॉइंट ज्वाइन द पॉइंट सो आपका पहले फ्रीक्वेंसी थर्टी थर्टी फोर में सिर्फ एक ही था तो एक पे पॉइंट किया दूसरे पर सात था तो सात पे पॉइंट किया तीसरे में सिक्स था तो सिक्स पे पॉइंट किया इस नेक्स्ट में पांच थे तो पांच पे पॉइंट किया ऐसा आप सब पॉइंट करोगे देन यू विल सिंपली फ्रॉम जीरो विल स्टार्ट एंड सिंपली विल ज्वाइन द पॉइंट सो दैट विल बी योर फ्रीक्वेंसी पॉलीगॉन दैट एंड यू विल एंड हियर अगेन यू विल कम टू द जीरो हियर ओके सो दिस वे यू कैन मेक योर हिस्टोग्राम ऑल्सो एंड योर पॉलीगॉन ऑल्सो बाय यूजिंग योर frequency distribution table okay hmm? this way you can do that okay so just follow this method for studying your uh, for your exam okay and uh, hope i hope you understood this i wish you all the best thank you so much